Hey, here we are back on the farm again for another weekly update. As you see, I've got my farming hat on, so I must be a real farmer. Have we got an update for you this week? Oh, we've got everything. We've got corn growing, we've got, we've got bugs dead, we've got uh, uh, peanuts being picked. So let, let, let's have a bit of a look around and see what we've got going on. Here we have the great peanut harvest 2019. We're working away, stacking them up beautifully. This block here, oh, it's about a, about a rye, I think. Um, just goes up to the road there and down there, and as far as they've picked there, you can see. The peanuts are not really good. Didn't get rain on them when we needed it. Most of them are underdeveloped, as you can see. This is the auntie's property. Our property is uh, down there, if you follow that tree line down, where the tree line ends there. That's the, that's the corner of our, our property there. There's, uh, you can only just be able to see the trees, the eucalyptus in the background there. That's the, the far edge of our farm. This is the auntie's farm, that's the block of wire down there that you can just see probably done that using this action cam. I'm not sure what you can see. Plants and plant. I guess everyone's gonna get involved with it. Here we are back of the house unloading the load of peanuts. I'm just picking them off and putting them in a bucket. Let's start with the corn. As you can see, we've got the yellow leaves, which we've already discussed. That's a bit of water damage from where it was flooding. We have had rain since. Uh, we've had to pump water a couple of times, but uh, pretty much yeah, she's doing okay. And as you can see, uh, most of the corns now they've got the uh, cobs falling. Uh, They've all got the, the male flower on the top, as you can see, that's all fertilising the, uh, the cobs. We can see the cobs halfway down. So, we're getting corn, which is great. Fantastic. This is doing extremely well. We're extremely happy with that. The makua, or eggplants. This is the one that we don't think is going to make it. Although, it's now throwing new leaves, so maybe it will. I don't know. Uh, you can see, you know, like a bit of the old tips on it on them are a bit brown. Some of that is from uh, water damage, but some of it we've got some. Uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see the aphids there. I think they're aphids, little green things chewing away on them, which is not so good. We're going to spray them. Uh, we're going to give uh, someone suggested uh, a mixture of. Uh, dishwashing detergent oil, uh, cooking oil and uh, water sprayed on them should, should not deter the aphids. We'll give that a try and see if it works. If not, we'll spray it with something that will bloody kill them. You see, there, there's that fruit that I spoke about last time. She's a decent old size, that one. Ooh, enormous. There's a couple others starting to show fruits and they're all doing nicely. Very happy, very happy. A couple of weeks we'll be harvesting. The uh, chilies, 
Julie's are all doing well. They're coming along nicely. Uh, again, where where we had the water logging, they're small, and where we didn't, they're big. And as you can see, all the way along, we got big ones, little ones, depending on how much water they got. You can see here, this is a typical. This one here, tiny, and you can see the witness mark of where the water was logging around it. The trees, well, they are, they're, they're all getting new leaves on them, but they're you know, fruit trees. Probably planted a bit close together, but I intend to keep them well pruned so, so that they produce fruit, not not looking for great big trees, I'm looking for trees that produce commercially. So that shouldn't be a problem there. They're meant to be three metres apart, so I think some of them are a bit closer than that. But now well, we could expect some losses too, which should thin them out a bit. The poor pawpaws, papayas depending on whether you're an American or an Australian. And then it depends on whether you're eating them green or uh, not. These have got things eaten, the leaves will give them a spray with a dishwashing detergent and oil too. We've got one down here which I uh, don't like his chances. He has got new, new little growth on him, but I'm not pretty sure he's that shit. Uh, not going to make it. Oh, the rest of them there, they're all showing up just nicely. And this one's the champion. The dragon fruit. The dragon fruit, they're all still doing well. You can see there's one down there that uh, is particularly do doing particularly well. He's uh, pressed the top of the post. If we down there, that's the one, look at him, oh fantastic, up over the top of the post, what a winner, that's the that's the same one that was uh, nearly to the top of the post last week, so in a week he's grown about five or six inches. With the success that we're having with growing these, I thought, the hell, the only logical thing to do, plant more of them. So we now have Another 25 posts going, uh, they're either in or going in. No, 20, we've got 20 in, we've got five more to go, which will take it down to almost the corner. Uh, which, and uh, we'll plant more dragon fruits. Gumagon, as the locals call them, which will be fantastic. And uh, there's nothing like a good gumagon. Mm. You see the rest of these trees, there's more, more fruit trees here. Uh, I think this one's a jackfruit, but I'm not sure. Might be avocado. They're uh, getting you know, nice green new leaves, doing well. This one I'm not sure of what it is. Could be a Logan, could be something else, don't know. But you know, like, it's getting attacked by bugs, but it's getting new growth as well, so it's a bit of give and take. Yeah, we'll get some, get something onto them. The uh, the lemon grass yeah, is all, all these, yeah, as long as it's sprouting new green stuff, that's good, and it is. So that's great. These uh, here's the glangle, and you see that's all sprouting new stuff. Well, all except for this one, but give him a minute, he'll, he'll poke something out of the ground soon. Um, and that, that's all fantastic, that would be, so we're happy with that. Not sure what this is. Really unsure. Not got a clue. But it looks interesting. Oh no, yeah. Looks like we've got more glangle in here, possibly. Or something. There's something definitely growing, growing in here. I don't know what that is. Not sure, but there's plenty of it growing everywhere. Wonder what the missus had planted there. The uh, these little trees that uh, we're protecting from uh, the chickens—they're all still alive. 
can't remember what it's called. Mrs. says, oh, it's very good because it sells for lots. So we're happy with that. The bamboo. Look at that. Yeah, how's that? Yeah, this is one. I've got a new spike on it. This new big spike on this one is fantastic. That's what we like to see. It's definitely kicking on. He's definitely doing well. Our Harsip Parsip one is looking more like it's. Uh, yeah, I reckon that one's 90% uh, dead now. Not to worry. This one, uh, it's just from getting these spikes going out further, which is good. And there's another new one. This is one of these new ones, I think it's in the last video. You can see it's doing very well. Now these, these sprouts that come out the side of the bamboo can be eaten the same as the bamboo shoots that you dig out of the ground apparently. But uh, of course we're not doing that for, at the moment we just want them to take off and start growing. And this one's still alive so that's good. The big block of corn is getting big. Uh, we have had, well, what I now believe is uh, someone on uh, the rural life, the uh, Thailand for uh, Facebook page uh, mentioned uh, full army worm, and I believe that's what we've got. We've sprayed it, we've knocked it, it's gone. Uh, all the worms that you find in here now are eggs. They're all, they all seem to be dead. Yeah. Except for, yeah, no, it's dead. Dead lah. Dead. Dead lah. Dead. Fantastic. And that's what we like to see. And as you can see, it's all beautiful. It's big. It's growing up. Yeah. All dead. Hmm? Dead. Dead. Mom is ha happy that they are dead. I keep stirring him up and asking him why he keeps making uh, some of them little like this one. Why he make my corn small? Why big corn? So, this is the corner here. These are all up to, you know, about a metre, most of them. Some of them are a bit taller. But, uh, and you can see, as we walk through, you can see there's damage from uh, the worms. But we sprayed them, it knocked them. Yeah, everything we're finding is uh, not moving, it's dead. So, We're happy. We're happy with that result. We come down here to the pumpkins. And again, pumpkins are doing what pumpkins do. They're vines, they're growing, they're getting longer, they're spreading out. And they're, they're looking pretty good. Not too concerned about the weeds here because as they spread out the shell of the ground from the sunlight which will cause the weeds to die off most of them. But uh, you know, if need be we'll get in here with a chip hoe and chip them out. Which they don't call a chip hoe of course but uh, yeah. Yeah. You can take the farmer out of the cane but you can't take the cane out of the farmer. Well, they seem to be having a little bit of something, just having a bit of a nibble on them. Yeah. But uh, they're oh, pretty mate. busy. Huh? Ah. No. For what? For gin? Mm. Yeah. Hey. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know. They want it, it wants to cut the ends off, the, the, end, the ends off, which, uh, I mean, it won't hurt. I mean, I'll just drove from a bit further back. But uh, yeah, they like to eat the plant here in Thailand, so I'll take this bit off and they'll eat that. The beans haven't been planted yet. The racks haven't been built. The bamboo has been cut, but uh, we need to bring it here from well, over in there. And we haven't yet, so when we do, oh. we'll put beans in. Everything takes time, particularly in Thailand. We got the uh, nothing's happened with the aquaponics this week. Between the rain and uh, other things going on, uh, nothing's happened. But it, it'll happen. And now it's raining, so I'm going to get out of the rain. And the pineapples are here. These are pineapples still. They're still pineapples. They're still growing. Uh, And they, well, they're doing what pineapples do. They're growing. They'll do something more, I guess. We're starting to with the peanuts we're picking. We're using as uh, a mulch. Seems to be good for pineapples, I guess. Better than nothing. It's stupid. Look at that. Looks like it's still alive. If that, if that kicks on, I mean, like the, I showed you last week, that, that's not attached, it's, it's off this coconut. But if that kicks on and grows, I will be amazed. I don't think it will. Just to put things in perspective of where the uh, peanuts are being picked, down, you can see everyone here picking their peanuts. The wife's got a block of peanuts over way over there <laughs> and the ones that she's picking at the moment are way up there near the road so that's about where we were looking down before oh the limes are still doing the lime things limes are still doing lime things the onions that are planted in the lime things are doing the onion things the basil are doing the basil things nothing Spectacular. You know, still getting decent fruits on it. Yeah, still got nice fruits there. This one here is still holding all its little fruits, which is pretty amazing. Or well, most of them. There's a couple there that are looking a bit worse for wear, but still holding a heap of them. So we've got limes everywhere. And the citrus basil is. Um, it tastes great. Yeah, so that's all doing well too. Hello. Wait. Money. Money. He's a funny dog. He's actually Bomb's dog. And he's decided since I built the shed here, he lives here. He's a bit unsure about me a lot of the time, but he certainly fires up when anyone else turns up. So. That's a good thing. Having dogs on the farm, protecting the property. So, that's the update for the farm for today, this week. Cheers. Tuesday, 10th of September 2019. Now, don't forget, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with all your friends on Facebook and other social media platforms. Subscribe. And uh, you know, all, the, all the other sellouts should do that. 